Now you have to look here the two things, two main important things. I want the management of the object to be done on application server and I want the implementation or the execution to be done inside the database. So I get the best of two worlds. When I try to have the management performed in the application server, then it comes and sits as part of a BAP repository so I can transport these changes into multiple systems and then all the existing process which my company has established to transport the particular changes into quality production or into multiple system can take place and uh, therefore it should be managed in application server and execution should be done inside the database how much the complex the logic should be I should be able to write those programs or I need to execute those program inside database so I take advantage of HANA database so that's the two things which is objective and that gave rise to MDP because what happens in AMDP is you have a class where you have some methods which is what you have and um, that methods use native SQL so if I have a class so this is a class and this class has some method implementation m1 and this implementation of the method is done by using native SQL and now what happens is once I have this class I will be using this class inside my CDS views I can use this class inside my ABAP now when I call these methods inside ABAP then I cannot call it as a functional methods but as a ABAP method so that's how I will be using my AMDP classes or methods inside ABAP or calling them now these were the advantage of using AMDP to kind of summarize all this thing all this advantage the first is how can I manage my object inside my application layer so it is part of the BAP repository to transport the changes or development artifacts the second thing is how can I have the code or the structure of the CDS view if I try to take advantage of tabular function if I try to do some processing involved with it where the complex logic can be implemented how those codes can go and sit inside my database now just to clarify or repeat I will say again that CDS views and OpenSQL views are not HANA database dependent if you have uh, other database which are running a BAP then you can use CDS views there or you can also execute OpenSQL with a BAP there but AMDP are HANA database specific so you cannot use AMDP if you are having DB2 or sci based database linked to your application server but if you are having SAP HANA database then only you can use AMDP because AMDP use native SQL so that is the overview basic now let's go in the next section where we understand from which version we have the AMDP available and also what are the, some of the exceptions which you cannot do before implementing these basic things are important to understand now in the process of implementing the codes I will be again repeating some of the important point which one need to remember but it's always better to have a basic level of understanding and then go into the practicals where you're not really only thinking in terms of code but also thinking in terms of why we are doing certain things in certain fashion okay so let's catch up in the next section to understand from which version the AMDP came to picture and what other things which we cannot do with the AMDPs.